How's it going guys? Football Manager, youthdevelopment.co.uk here. In this episode, we're going to check out the four things that are making Leicester City so successful this season. At the time of making this video, after 22 games played, Leicester are currently second in the Premier League table. They've got 44 points, they've scored 39 goals and they've conceded just 26 goals. For the making of this video, I'm checking out whoscored.com and I'm just having a look at some of the key statistics from every single team in the Premier League and just trying to trying to work out exactly what is making Leicester so successful. One of the first places that I decided to have a look at was at the possession stats. And as you can see on your screen at the moment, in terms of possession, um, like per game, on average, Manchester United have the most possession per game at 56.5%. Then you've got the likes of Arsenal, Man City, Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, you know, all the pretty big teams. And to be honest, most of the clubs, obviously, apart from Chelsea, who are actually towards the top um, end of the table. Um, if you kind of keep looking down the list, you'll see that Leicester are actually in 18th place in terms of the amount of average possession that they have per game. And currently Leicester's average possession per game is 43.9%. It's quite clear to see that when you are taking a look at the possession stats, you know, Leicester's game is not particularly made up of keeping the ball for a long time. And I've just switched over the screen now and you'll be able to see that currently Leicester's pass success rate is actually the lowest in the whole of the Premier League, being 69.6%. So quite clearly Leicester are not too bothered about kind of keeping the ball and yeah, making the most of the possession that they do have with the ball. So we need to try and have a look at what exactly is making Leicester so successful in the way that they're playing the games and, you know, what is it that's making them top of the league. So I'm going to be taking a look at quite a number of different things here. I firstly decided to take a look at the defensive statistics for Leicester. So if we have a look on the screen at the moment, you'll see that their tackles per game is currently the second highest in the league, only behind Liverpool. And on average, Leicester make about 22.8 tackles per game and they make 21.9 interceptions per game, which is actually the highest in the whole of the Premier League. So I would say they're kind of like this defensive shape and the way that they're actually, you know, going about actually winning the ball back is going to be a real, real key part to uh, Leicester's game. So firstly, I'm just going to take a look at the actual team stats and then we will actually go on to the player stats but to be honest you're not going to be particularly surprised when I do tell you um, that the midfielder Kante is actually top in both the categories of interceptions and tackles per game so he's a massive massive part to the way that Leicester play. So we can see from these statistics that Leicester worked really really hard to win the ball back and you know, generally they're trying to be in the correct places at the correct time to make sure that they're getting as many interceptions as possible. But how do Leicester pass the ball? So having a look at this screen, sorry, have a look at uh, what's on your screen at the moment. You'll see that in terms of actually key passes. Um, so obviously this is something that I tend to have a look at quite a lot when I'm playing football manager. But key passes, we can see that Leicester, in terms of their long passes per game, that's their kind of key passes where they get a lot of their sort of key passes per game and um, they're actually second in terms of the amount of key passes that are long passes in terms of kind of short passes um yeah they're they're basically they are in the top 10 for the amount of short passes that are key for Leicester um, but it's the amount of long passes that Leicester are making that are really really key to what they're doing and obviously with the pace of you know the likes of Jamie Vardy they've got Mares, um, you know he's really fast all Brighton's got a bit of pace on him as well and um, so yeah they have got players um, you know if you get the ball to them pretty quickly you're going to be certainly you know exposing other teams basically with the amount of pace that they have got up top Leicester. So I just mentioned about Leicester making the most of the pace that they have in the team, obviously with the likes of Jamie Vardy, etc. And we can see here that the type of assists that Leicester get in general, most of the, well, their kind of best weapon, if you like, is actually the through ball. So obviously they've got quite a number of kind of skillful, skillful players who are pretty good with the ball, who run sort of really directly. Um, obviously, I think after this, um, you know, this is probably going to be the last team statistic that I'm going to take a look at and then we'll move on to the players. Um, but you can see here that, yeah, Leicester's best kind of attacking weapon is the through balls that they are kind of, you know, putting through to their strikers. And you can see here that in terms of through balls, most of Leicester's goals are do come through through balls and they're actually the most successful team in the Premier League when it comes to getting assists through through balls. 
Okay then guys, so yeah, we're now taking a look at some of the player statistics for Leicester City. So one of the first things I decided to take a look at when we were first looking at the um, sort of stats for Leicester was their um, pass success rate and the amount of possession that they have per game. So obviously we know that in particular Leicester don't really care about how much possession that they have of the ball and you know their pass percent rate was pretty low to be honest. So one thing I thought it would be quite a good thing to take a look at was just what players are getting the worst and the best pass percentage ratings for Leicester City. And what is really, really interesting here, and I think this gives you quite a good idea of how Leicester, you know, are building up their tactics and things like this. So you can see that um, Kante, Inla and Drinkwater, um, who are all midfielders for Leicester City, they have pretty high percentage pass rate successes to be honest so yeah Kante is 82.3 you've got Gotland Inla who's got 79% um, success pass rating and Drinkwater who is 78.2% personally I reckon this means that these players are going to be playing the ball a lot shorter and um, so when Leicester are getting the ball in the middle of the pitch they're going to be you know making sure that they're getting the ball to the key players the likes of, you know, Jeffrey Schlupp, um, you know, Mares, um, you know, Dyer, players like this. And of course, you know, uh, Jamie Vardy, they're, they're basically going to be making sure all these centre midfield players that they are getting the ball to these, um, yeah, sort of like more creative players and players that are a little bit higher up the pitch. One thing that is really, really interesting. So a player like Mark Albrighton, um, his pass percentage rating was down like in the really really early 60s but Mark Albrighton has got one of the highest uh, number of assists in the whole of the Leicester City team and the same with um, Mares. you can see here on this screen that Mares has got seven assists and um, his pass success rate is only 72 percent which is pretty poor to be honest you can tell here that the way kind of Leicester um, play, so they're kind of keeping the ball really, really well in the centre of the pitch, making sure that they get the ball to these kind of key players. And what they're basically saying to these key players is, you know, whatever you do, just make sure that you get the ball through, um, you know, use the pace of Jamie Vardy and just try and make something happen. Um, obviously, you know, Mahrez has got a bit of pace as well. So the likes of Mark Albrighton, who don't particularly score too many goals for Leicester, what they are doing is getting quite a number of assists, but his pass percentage rating is really, really low. So he's just going to be looking for through balls. And as we saw earlier in the video, the through ball for Leicester was their most successful weapon. So, yeah, really, really interesting to have a look at all these um, sort of t statistics that we're having a look at here. So to round off this video, as I said at the beginning, this is going to be a video of four things that we can learn from Leicester City tactics. So... Personally, it's been quite an interesting kind of thing having a look at Leicester City and just kind of seeing how they, you know, what they basically do to try and score goals and how they defend and things like that. So I think at number one, the top thing that I would say about Leicester is the amount of hard work that they do actually put in to, you know, kind of win the ball back and things like that. So they're really, really good at winning the ball back from the opposition. They make a hell of a lot of tackles per game and, you know, they they do seem to be in the right places a lot of the time to make them interceptions as well. They make sure that they're kind of moving the ball along really, really quickly, um, which is going to be the second thing that I reckon is a really key thing to learn from Leicester. So if you're creating tactics on sort of football manager or anything like that, making sure that you're giving the ball to your kind of flair players as quickly as possible is going to be a really, really good thing. Making sure that you're, you know, keeping the ball really, really good in the centre of the field. Like we can see that their centre midfield players do tend to keep the ball. Um, you know, their passing percentage is actually pretty decent. I personally do think that that's going to be just to make sure that they do get it to their kind of flair players and things like that but you know kind of dictating the pace in the middle of the pit it, sorry the middle of the pitch is going to be a really really good thing to do just making sure that you do give the ball to your flair players and things like that um and i think the probably last thing um to take from this kind of the statistics from leicester city is that they do actually create a hell of a lot of scoring chances so you know, Jamie Vardy is one of the top goal scorers in the Premier League, or if not the top goal scorer in the whole of the Premier League at the time of making this video. Um, obviously, they've got Mares, who scored a hell of a lot of goals and got a lot of assists as well. They are quite heavily reliant on both them two players, it seems, but 
you know, the the way that they use both of them players is really, really effective. And you can see that it's certainly working well for Leicester at the moment. So I am going to call this the end of the episode, guys. I hope you have enjoyed this video. I've, I've certainly enjoyed making it, actually. And it's been quite interesting just to have a look at all the um, different stats and things like this. So, yeah, if you do, if you have enjoyed this video, um, obviously do comment, subscribe and like. And, yeah, we'll be back very, very soon for some more videos. Thanks for watching.